on midday at 12:30, the Kentucky Castle is here to tell us all about their upcoming events, which include some really, really great Valentine celebrations all week long. Plus, Dr. James Stowell is back with some tips on how to encourage children to do those dreaded chores. This is Midday Kentucky. Happy Wednesday. Thanks for joining us on Midday at 1230. I'm Amber Freeman. And I'm Christina Johnson. Chrissy is back. I'm back. I'm moving uh, up. <laughs> you're doing <laughs> well. In a row. It's, it's always, um, and I think a lot of your friends wrote in <laughs> messages and, and emailed you and all had tips on how you should be hosting. Yeah, they do. How do you feel about that? It helps me. It encourages me. Sometimes it makes me nervous, but I need it. Is it, is it different being in the chair than watching on TV? I was definitely different. Like, it's, it's different. <laughs> I guess I, I've done it for so long. We bring yeah. people on, and I know it's so nerve-wracking, but you do a great job. Well, thank you. I'm usually, like, really hyper, and so everybody's like, why are you so calm? Like, what's going on? What I like to do is put them in the hot seat. Um, I had a friend who hosted a reality <laughs> show for a long time, and it had to do with um, athletes doing things. And it's so easy to turn around, and we're armchair coaches to athletes, and then yeah. a lot of people are the same to everybody on TV. Uh, just basically any job, everybody feels like they can do it. Well, I'll tell everybody that. So when they're watching sports, they're like, the referees. I'm like, well, why aren't you out there refing? Well, they <laughs> put them behind the desk and made them read a prompter. Oh. <laughs> and they realized it was a little different than they thought. So I always like to hear everybody's perspective. But we are glad you are here. I'm glad to be here. We're talking about something. I, I heard them talking about it during the noon show. So if you're watching news, they were talking about the um, – Gift baskets that Oscar nominees I'm get. I need those. Like, I read on it. It's, it's crazy. Right. <laughs> so w there are some serious perks to being nominated for an Oscar. You don't even have to actually win. Right. <laughs> to be nominated, which is a pretty big feat in itself. Forbes says the gift bag for Academy <laughs> Award nominees, $215,000 worth of items in there this year. Which is great, but you have to pay taxes on it. You do. But get this, it's up nearly 70 grand from last year. All 24 acting and directing nominees get one, bringing the total value to $5.2 million. A product placement and celebrity marketing company called Distinctive Assets is behind all of the freebies. The most expensive item this year, a $78,000 12-day cruise. Um, I kind of want mm -hmm. that. This one I could do without. <laughs> Also, I th this one just, I have more questions about this, and we could talk okay. about the entire segment. A year's membership to a dating service worth $20,000. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they doing for $20,000? What are you getting? Do I want to know? Is it, uh, I don't, I don't know. pretty risky, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's, uh, they have a lot of cosmetic procedures from a New York City doctor, mm -hmm. and you get cannabis chocolate edibles. Mm. They're delivered to the nominees in suitcases the week before to the February 9th Oscar ceremony, which is this Sunday night. It's, um, it's a lot. And like you said, you have to be taxed on it. What do you yeah. think? It's like the prize is right. I used to be excited about it until I realized you had to pay taxes. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually get away with not paying taxes. Like, do they really mm. keep note of all of this? Oh, I'm sure. And okay. I also really want to know what that $20,000 dating <laughs> <000 laughs> <laughs> service entails. Who pays twenty thousand dollars for a day? Well, I don't know who pays for it, but I want to know what you get. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, in a former life, I went to a lot of events and all that kind of stuff on on that that end of the spectrum, and the gifting suites are unreal. Now, I I the IRS could come <laughs> after me, but they're not going to get anything. Cause I don't have anything. <laughs> but um, I didn't pay taxes on anything, and you would just walk through just for yeah. parties. The, the, the <laughs> amount of events. I'm not getting arrested. I'm, I, I probably no. am. Hello. Take me in. I don't know. Listen, I went to my first one in May for Derby. <laughs> I, I, our camera. I, Clark's making me feel guilty now. Don't be jealous, Clark. We need to shield you now. Like, <laughs> I think that the, I think uh, ABC will take care of that, right? Um, so you went to one for the Derby? I did in May, and it was so much fun. I felt like a celebrity. I just walked through and got all these free gifts, and yeah. it was great. What was the best thing you, you received? Probably hair care products for me. Oh. They had liquor, they had Waffle House, they had everything. But 
I it's remember fair, one time, fair. like phones, it was when like T-Mobile and the flip phones were all that. This was before there were even like really good cameras <laughs> or anything on. And we got phones at one event that had like the TVs on them. What? And they had LA numbers. <laughs> I thought that I was like, <laughs> in college, it's like, mm, look guys. But thank God there were not cameras on phones. That's, no. the, that's the thing I'm most grateful for in life. You have kids. I do. Three. Um, yeah, so they were teenagers. Yes, at one point in time. Getting them to do chores, has that always been a big thing in your life? It has. They've been doing chores since they were one. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, then you and uh, Dr. Stilwell <laughs> have some things to talk about yes. because he has some tips for kids who don't really want to do chores. That's coming up after the break. Stay with us. This is Midday Kentucky.